Okay, this is a video for Gene at genelevine.com. Uh, just going to show you how to make a cover for this uh, Treasured Dixie Family Recipes book. We're going to use the Spiral Binder Tilted Action, which is number 20 at photoshopactionscripts.com. Uh, so I've got the uh, flat JPEG image open right here, and it's uh, zoomed in at 25%, so it's a fairly big image when you're zoomed into 100%, there's full size. So we're going to uh, take that image and just set it over here for a second. Then we're going to run step one of the spiral binder tilted action. And that's going to create the template for us. And that just takes a second. OK, there we go. And then we're going to drag this image over to the template. We're going to use the uh, pointer tool right here. And all you have to do is hold your mouse down and, and drag it right over. So there we've dragged it over. And we're going to place it into place. Now it says right here, do not put important text or images beyond this guideline. That's because those are where the, uh, the spirals go for the ring binder here. So uh, you do want to make sure and have it match the rest of your cover. It's just that there's going to be a bunch of holes there and rings going through. So we can uh, do a few things here, and I'll show you the uh, options we have. But first, let's go ahead and put this into place. And you can just move it around with that pointer tool. So put it right up here in the top corner. And uh, this is where you have two choices. We do have a little bit of white space right there on this cover. So uh, once stretched out, that actually would be fine. So we, we can either do that, or we can set it here and then just fill this side in with uh, white color to match the rest of the cover. So uh, what I'm going to do is just put it here and uh, fill, fill that side with white. I think that might look better for this one. I'm going to zoom uh, out a little bit so we can see the whole template here. And then I'm going to go up to Image and or actually Edit, Transform, and or I'm sorry, Edit and then Free Transform, or you can just press Control plus T. And that's what I usually do. So uh, that's going to let us be able to resize this however we want, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it right down there so it fills up the whole template area. And then I'm going to double click in the middle there to have it take that uh, transformation. So we've just sized it into place. Okay, next we want to fill this area in here with uh, the right color there, and that's going to be this white. And there's a few ways you can do that. You can either just get your paintbrush over here, your brush tool, and make sure you're on the right layer, which would be the background layer. And you can just make the brush a little bigger. You can just, oh, you got to pick your color. So we'll pick just this white right here, go back to the brush tool, and you can just paint that in. Or uh, let me show you a different way to do that. Just go back here. Another way you can do that is uh, with, with this layer selected, this one we just moved into place, I'm going to uh, copy just a little bit of it. So I'm going to grab the square or the rectangular marquee tool and make sure you're on the right layer here that layer two that's the one that we moved over so I'm just gonna grab a little slice of it so about that wide and I'm gonna make a new layer so layer new via copy and I'm gonna grab my pointer tool again and you can see we just have a little little tiny slice there of that so I'm going to put this over here, and then I'm going to use that free transform again, which was control T. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to stretch that into place right there. So that's, that's two ways you can do it. You can either just paint it in for the color, or if you have some kind of design or something, you can just grab a uh, chunk of that, or you can put your own, you know, whatever you want to put in there. But uh, just a few different ways to do that. Or you could, uh, like I said before, have this image and just uh, stretch it over and have it fill up the whole thing. 
So however you do that, that's all that guideline there is for is just to tell you that there's going to be a bunch of holes punched in there and that uh, the rings will go through. So you don't want any important text or anything in there because it won't be readable. Okay, so having done all that, and I just went with the, uh, the whole thing there stretched. So having done everything, uh, we have it all set up and ready to go. Next thing we want to do is run step two. And we'll just hit play. And it says, uh, don't press any key during the execution of this action. Press continue to proceed. And this is going to take about a, about a minute or two. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. And uh, when we come back, it should be completed. Okay, just completed, and uh, it says done, action scripts by photoshopactionscripts.com. So here we have that template, or that, uh, that spiral binder, and you can see there's a few different layers over here in the layers palette, and right here's the background layer, it's the very bottom one. That's a uh, white background it's setting on right now, but if you wanted a different background color, you could change that. So I'm going to select that background color. And I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to make a nice big brush here and paint in a black background. And you can see what that looks like. So uh, you can have whatever color background you want. I'm just going to go back to uh, white. Or if you're using a transparent image, you can just save that as a uh, PNG or a GIF image. So uh, either, however you want to work that. But um, right now we're at 15.7% uh, zoomed out. So it's a rather large image, and that's because these are 300 uh, DPI, and that's for printing purposes. If uh, you wanted to use that for printing or anything like that, that's what they use. And also because it's easier to uh, retain your quality when you're uh, downsizing rather than upsizing. You end up losing a lot of uh, picture quality when you try to upsize. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and resize this down to about 20% and then save it as a uh, JPEG image. So first thing I'll do is uh, go to image, image size, and right there I'm going to go percent and 20. But if you have a specific uh, number you can do pixels and just size it to whatever you want. So I'll do 20% And there we go. Let me zoom into 100% now. Right there. So there's full size at, uh, after I resize it down to 20%. So that's what size it is right now. So that's uh, definitely big enough for any web applications you're going to be using this for. So next thing I'm going to do is just save this as a JPEG image. And this is with the white background. Um, and that should be okay for this. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And we're going to drop this down and pick JPEG. And uh, we'll name it. Recipes and save. And uh, this is the quality for the JPEG compression. Take it down to about uh, 8. So it's a manageable size, 137K. That should be fine. So I'll hit OK. And there we go. And we can also save the PSD image if we wanted to retain all the different uh, layers and such. But I'm not going to do that right now. So uh, I'm just going to close everything out. And there we go. Uh, that should do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.